What up, fight fans? It's your boy D Rock, and you're watching D Rock Boxing. All right, so today I'm gonna be uh, going on, the, going over the post-fight interview, a post-fight review of uh, Jabril Miller versus Johan Duapa. So I've just finished watching that fight. Jabril Miller ended up winning on a points decision, so it went the full 12 rounds. Uh, Johan Duapa, he impressed was with his ability uh, to withstand the punishment um, Jarrell Miller coming in at his um, heaviest he's been career heaviest of 304 pounds um, he somewhat was in decent condition considering this weight um, it didn't seem to hinder him too much and so it kind of seemed like positive like that's somewhere around his natural weight it's not really a forced weight for him, he's just naturally a big guy. Um, he wasn't tubby around the midsection or anything like that. He was in good um, physical condition and his cardio seemed to handle the 12 rounds that it took. Um, Jarrell seemed to dominate the fight. Uh, there was little moments there where Dorpa, um it was tit for tat, but it was mainly uh, Jarrell Miller was kind of, his work rate was increased on door part and you could actually see in the faces of the two fighters uh, at door part he had puffiness around his eyes where Dremel was looking uh, pretty decent somewhat fatigued but not too bad they're both fatigued so you know neither then uh, neither less or more than each other um, so I don't know where to go here from for Jarrell Miller I mean Eddie Hearn said he had to put on a spectacular performance if he wanted to be in the mix for um, Anthony Joshua. After that performance, it was not very impressive at all. But credit must be given to Dua Pa for his, his granite chin and his ability to survive. Um, I'd like to see Joseph Parker versus Jarrell Miller, just to see where Jarrell Miller's at. We know where Joseph Parker's at. He's, he's just slightly under um, Anthony Joshua. Um, I reckon he'd take out Jarrell Miller no problem. I reckon he'd take out a whole bunch of these guys, Jarrell Miller, um, Dominic Breezy, or um, just any of these top guys, Lucas Brown, Dillian White, any of them, he'd take any of them out. So um, that's my thoughts. Uh, like and subscribe, drop us a comment, let me know what you guys think, and as always, I'll catch you in another video. Cheers, guys.